Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this video today we are going to talk about exam hacks. So if you are a GATE student and you're looking at fast tracking your preparation then this video is definitely for you because today we're going to see GATE exam hacks how to prepare faster and qualify in 30 days. I'm Dr. Vaishali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come let's explore the topic. The first hack that I have for all of you is have confidence. Yes, it's true that you have very less number of time, number of days for the examination. It's just 30 days and how can you prepare? So that, uh, you know, you should not get bogged down by that time limit. You need to have confidence. Only then you can prepare well and also give the exam properly. So yes, have that confidence, have a positive mindset because before even you start your preparation, if you have that in mind that you cannot do it, then, you know, nothing will go right. So have that positive mindset and make the best use of the time that's available. So that is how you can boost your confidence, especially when you have very less time for any competitive examination. The second tip or the second hack that I have for all of you is divide and conquer. Now, what are you going to divide and conquer, right? So first is about your syllabus, right? So uh, in especially in gate examination as well, not all of the uh, topics or chapters is given equal importance, right? So there are few uh, chapters that's given more weightage and few chapters are given less weightage. So you need to divide your uh, chapters accordingly and you need to first uh, you know, make sure that you finish the more weightage chapters so that you can secure your marks. So that is how you first divide and then you conquer and you can cover your chapters accordingly. So that is the second hack that I had for you. The third hack is studying through practice, right? So the conventional mode of study that all of us have is to first study the textbook or the concept and then go and practice questions. But especially when you have very less time and when you're looking at fast tracking your preparation, then you need to study through practice because it's going to be, um, you know, double, uh, uh, you know, double work in a single go because uh, even after studying the concept, you have to come back and practice the questions and then if you don't know the concept and then you have to go back and again study the concept. So it's a three way thing that you do in a conventional method. But here when you're first starting with solving the cons solving the questions and then according to your capability, uh, whether you know the answer or not, whether you know the concept or not, you come back and then brush up the concept. So that is going to be the way you do, you study through practice, right? So when you do this kind of a uh, study um, method, then you know you can retain that particular concept and that particular memory faster and very well. Because when you're solving the question and then you know you start thinking about that concept, you start recollecting it, and then you're not getting it. So after doing all of that hard work, then you come back and see the concept. So it stays in your mind very well. But then if the concept is just handed over to you and then you read that, then you know you need to revise again and again for that concept to stay in your mind so that's the reason you know you'll be able to revise faster you'll be able to recollect faster whenever you're studying through practice and obviously especially when you have very less time right so the revision has to be faster as well so this is another advantage of studying through practice and yes the mantra is to study less and solve more so that was the third hack. The fourth hack that I have for all of you is go the easy way. Now, what do I mean by easy way? Easy way is nothing but the easier chapters. That is, every individual is unique. So each one of you might have different chapters that you're, uh, you know, strong with and you're weak with. So you go first to the easier chapters that you feel, you know, can be uh, covered by you very easily and very fast. Right. So go for those topics uh, because it's going to take less time. 
And once you complete, uh, you know, chapters like this, then you are going to have confidence about completing the syllabus as well. So that will boost your confidence and then you can go for the more difficult chapters as well. So this is how you start with your preparation because having that confidence that you can do it is very important, especially when you're having less time. So yes, for secure your uh, topics, secure your marks by studying the most important and the most easier topics right so that is how you start your preparation and then as the time progresses as you have more time and everything you can concentrate on the other chapters right so that was the fourth hack the fifth hack that i have for all of you is the short notes yes you might all think that the time is very less and how can i sit and make notes at this time also uh, you're definitely right it's quite difficult and you might not have find um, you know time to make self notes although that's the best method because it helps you to revise faster and everything but for whatever topics that's possible especially when we talked about the important topics and the easier topics so whichever chapters fall in this bucket that is important as well as easy for you so make uh, which you can complete faster so you can uh, you know make uh, notes for those important uh, chapters because you at the end of the day you have to revise as well so this notes will come very handy for you to revise again and again so yes for at least for a few chapters you can prepare notes and for the rest of the chapters you can go for ready-made notes and there are a lot that's available in the market so evaluate yourself evaluate by yourself as to which material is good and then go for ready-made notes as well biotechnica also has a lot of notes a lot of mind maps that can help you in concept clarity so you can go ahead and uh, get them as well you can check out the link that's given below in the description box that was the fifth hack that I had for you. The sixth hack that I have is the PYQs, right? That is the previous year questions. So we saw the importance of practice. And similarly, it's the importance of practicing the previous year questions because it's going to tell you about what is the trend that's happening in uh, the gate examination, right? So yes, PYQs are definitely important. The last 10 years, PYQs are important. So uh, if at all you are, um, you know, uh, if at all you're, you are somebody who's who doesn't have much of a time then go for unit wise or chapter wise questions and then start solving them and then come back and then read the concepts which is related right so that's the best way of uh, you know preparing for the exam in shorter duration of time and these PYQs they also give you a fair bit of idea about the repetitive about the questions that come so there are a lot of um, you know uh, instances where the questions are repeated so if you are able to take hold of these questions uh, especially in your examination then it's a big boon for you right so take hold of these repetitive questions and then if you're solving uh, past 10 years question papers especially then a few questions might repeat and then you'll just get those marks out of nowhere right so that's a good thing and it also helps you in conceptual clarity like uh, how we just talked about that you start practicing those questions and then if you don't understand you go back and then get your concepts cleared so that is how uh, the pyqs help in the process of preparing for gate examination especially when you have very less time the seventh hack that I have for you is use the switch button. Now, what is the switch button? Well, it's nothing but whenever you're studying, right, you don't study one particular topic for an extended period of time because first of all, you have very less time. And second, you cannot get bored and disinterested because you are hooked onto that subject, right? So it's important for you to not get hooked onto one particular topic for a very long duration of time right start doing it start studying that topic and then if you feel you are exceeding the time limit that you've set for yourself then go to another topic because it's also going to set a boredom for you and we cannot you know afford to have any boredom at this point of time because you have very less time to you know study and prepare for this examination so yes don't uh, so feel free to use the switch option the eighth point that I have for you is a revision, right? So 
you might all think that there's very less time to prepare itself way to go for revision but my uh, you know uh, personal advice is to not underestimate the importance of a revision because revision is because whatever you've studied you will forget it uh, as and when you keep dumping yourself with knowledge and information so it's very important for you to revise do not underestimate this particular concept when you're having less time and you are more concentrating on preparation mode right so do allocate some time for revision as well and this is important because it gives you that clarity and that confidence as well while writing the examination because if you just spend all your 30 days in just preparation and then go and sit in the examination hall, you will not be able to recollect the important facts uh, which is necessary for the examination. So it is advisable that you allocate time for revision and then you revise as well to get that clarity and that uh, recollection because even in the examination hall you have to recollect for which you should have revised right so especially if you have made uh, notes or if you've taken ready-made notes then revise from that itself and it will save you a lot of time now after this eighth hack what is a ninth hack a ninth hack is master the time management because your biggest enemy here is time, right? Both during the examination, that's on the day of the examination, as well as your preparation, because you have very less time. You just have 30 days in hand and it's very important for you to manage your time. So yes, you might have to extend your study hours. Uh, and if you're not a person who has that capability of extending uh, your study hours beyond a certain limit, then you need to plan accordingly. You need to speed up your process then because even in less time, you have to study effectively or productively. So that's how you need to do it. And at the same time, because you are studying for an extended uh, number of hours you might also face a lot of stress a lot of uh, pressure so you need to have that capability to manage your stress as well because if the stress builds up then you know that amount of time is gone that amount of effort is gone and to get back to the same mode is also difficult so you need to manage all of this you need to manage your time as well as your stress and it's important for you to speed up uh, your preparation at this point of time so that that was the ninth uh, tip or the hack exam gate exam hack that I had the tenth hack is about the day before the examination because this day is as critical as the day of your exam also because this exam this day decides about how your mind is going to be on the day of examination so yes the mindset on this day matters so uh, whatever you've prepared be confident about it don't frown upon the topics that you have not prepared and then you know keep thinking about it overthinking about it no that's not necessary whatever you've studied whatever you have revised whatever you've practiced you need to have a positive mindset about your preparation right because that's what matters in the end because even if you have you face a question that you have not studied or you've not come across if you have the right mindset on the day of the examination, you can guess, uh, you know, calculatively guess what the scientifically guess what the answer could be. So, but you need to have that right mindset in the examination hall to do so. And having the positive mind at that time is important. So a day before the examination, stay optimistic and relax and just revise whatever you've studied. Do not go for newer topics, right? And eat healthy and sleep on time. So this is a mantra that you need to follow for all the 30 days as well uh, you need to maintain a healthy lifestyle and the sleep as well so as much as your study hours are important so is your sleep hour that's important your mental and your physical well-being is very important for you to uh, you know study properly as well to have a productive mind so keep all of this in mind as well while uh, you know allocating time for studies so with this 10 points with this 10 hacks i'm going to end this particular discussion if you have any more hacks in mind that has worked for you or you think will work for you do let us know in the comment section below we are very happy to know about your insight thank you so much and see you all until next video